Those numbers are hard, you know. Yeah, when it's like 560,000, I'm like, how do you say these numbers? <laughs>
Who has the best looks for Pride? Me! I would, me. Pro I would probably say, yeah, definitely Ryan has the best looks for Pride. Only because I feel like makeup is where my like background was. So I feel like Pride, yeah. I obviously do, we like do Matthews as well, but I feel like the concept is always me. And yeah. then, but we both always make sure we look fabulous. We both look fabulous. But Glitter we'll everywhere. But he wins the massive Pride Awards. <laughs> Who was the youngest when they came out? Now I was the youngest coming out because I was actually 14, 13, 14. Yeah. And I basically was, just came out when I was at school to everyone. And back, this was like a few years ago now. And um, it was very different. Getting to what old. It's, yeah, I'm getting old. Very different to what it's like now, I feel, because I feel like it, people were less open to coming out yeah. at school. That's how it felt like it was it like at my school. Very alienated, didn't it? Yeah. Very alienated, but I was really lucky because I had a good like core friendship group that accepted me and anyone that didn't accept me, I was just lucky that I had my friends to fall back Your on family. and family to talk to. And I think that's like the main thing, like just making sure you have someone to talk to. And I think for me, like I think following on from Matthew, I came out, at, officially came out at the age of 17. I told like my close friends before, but I think officially it was like 17. And I think we always say that like, you've got to make sure you do it in a safe environment and a safe space. So I think 17 was for me. And when, unfortunately when I came out, I had the flip side to Matthew. I ended up getting like kicked out for being gay, um, and then I was still going to college, and then I was in a hostel. Um, I, like my family didn't necessarily understand. If you feel like your family doesn't understand you, your friends are going to become your family, and there's a whole community that love you. That is right. The you. community out here. If there is anyone watching this that feels like they want to come out but they're yeah. worried about it, there is a massive community out here that are here to support you and love you and just want to accept you for yes. you being you. 100%. So obviously there's a massive community out there, but while we're talking about communities, there's also so many incredible charities. Yes. And we're so honoured that over the last few years, we've been working with Switchboard and spreading the word on some of the incredible work mm -hmm. that they do for the community. So for those of you that don't know, Switchboard are a charity that do incredible work for the LGBT yeah. community and they also support their friends and family too. And what's amazing, you can literally call them between 10 and 10 it's a 10 a.m to 10 p.m every single day and you can talk to someone and they're there to listen to you and help you yeah they have so much advice and just so much support so let's say you can't call and talk to someone for free you can actually use their web chat and their web chat offers loads of advice and support and they all can also pinpoint different groups around your local area that you can go to meet new people and kind of seek you know people in the community that you would want to talk to so just remember you are not alone there's an amazing charity waiting for you guys if you need them now it's time to go back to super drug studio thanks guys <laughs> you've got to love those two for more information about switchboard's incredible work or if you feel like you need to talk to someone click on the link in the description box below where you'll find contact details and more now, nurses are pretty special, aren't they? And this week, we celebrate Nurses Day. Here is Nurse Zara to show us what a typical day looks like for her, including how she takes time for some all-important self-care. Hello, everyone. My name is Nurse Zara, and I'm a registered nurse working in London. Today, you are going to see what it's like to be a nurse just like me, find out all about my daily self-care routine, and I will be sharing with you all my favourite nursing beauty essentials, all from Superdrug. So, without further ado, let's do this. Good morning everyone. It is the start of a new day and it's time to get ready. I like to start off my routine with this gorgeous serum from La Roche Posey. I love this serum. It gives me that instant hydrated look, which I tell you, nurses need to definitely drink more water. But we never listen, so at least the serum helps and makes us look like we actually drink water. <laughs> Everything in my routine is actually from the Super Drug Store and I'm going to be going through some of my favourite products that I use both in the morning, throughout my day and even for my night routines. So make sure you stay right till the end so you can see all the super drug beauty products I use as part of my routine as a nurse. Fun fact, I know super drug donated half a million products to hospitals during lockdown. In total, 140,000 products were donated to NHS frontline staff. For makeup, I use a lightweight foundation, do my brows, put on a bit of powder, then I'm all done and moving on to hair. All of my hairstyles are tied up and off my shoulders and this is intentional. This is to keep in line with infection control policy whereby hair ideally needs to stay off of our uniforms and off of our shoulders. Braids are usually my go-to, I wrap it up, use a big chunky hair clip and then I'm all good to go. Doing a bit of final touches, nod of approval. Lavender and cedarwood. My 
feel refreshed. Ready for the day. Ready for the day. What time is it? Okay, I'm a bit late. So on my way to work now, pretty good weather today, I'm not having to wear a fluffy jacket, I'm ready for the day, positive attitude. My uniform essentials, my name badge, my ID, and my lanyard with keys. So it is the start of the day. For those of you that are listening in for the first time, I am a junior sister currently working in a specialist acute pain services. I think what that means is I'm a clinical nurse specialist, and this is a role that I greatly, greatly, greatly love and adore. And I'm going to be taking you guys with me throughout the day and then giving you guys insight into also some of the little things that I do to help me kind of keep relaxed amongst the craziness of nursing life. So let's do this. The day is off to a busy start. My morning is jam-packed reviewing patients across the whole hospital, carrying out clinical work, and in my role there's lots of teaching involved to help support nursing staff. Around midday, I'm spoiling myself, do a panini, back to work, and it is full on for the rest of the afternoon. And then, taking a moment just to pause. I use my 15 minutes break to go to the prayer room, connect with my faith, and the little break in the day I need just to relax and clear my thoughts. It's the end of the shift and the first thing I want to do is clean my face. As a nurse, I wear a mask all day which leaves my skin feeling both dehydrated and I'm in a desperate need of a freshener. My go-to are the free derm facial wipes. If you have sensitive skin and have suffered with some mask knee, then these are worth giving a try. Lots of hand washing and using antibacterial gels throughout the day. This leaves my hands feeling so sore. My personal favourite is the Norwegian Formula Hand Cream range. Brilliant range, I have been using this ever since I was a student nurse. Fast forward to my post-shift evening routine. The evening routine is focused on cleaning and stripping off all of the stuff that has built up over the day. I use these reusable cleansing pads by Superdrug. I then use my La Roche Posey serum and yes, bring out my jewel roller and I love this. It's like giving a little massage on my face which is exactly what I need. After a long busy day, it's time to head to sleep. I'm ready for the madness tomorrow's shift may bring. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and back to the Superdrug studio. Thank you Zara and to all of our nurses and everyone in the NHS. Did you know Superdrug has 83 community healthcare clinics across the UK, Scotland and the Republic of Ireland? They have donated 140,000 products to NHS frontline staff and during the 2020 lockdown donated 560,000 products to local hospitals. It's amazing what can happen when we all help each other. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments and let us know what good things you do too. See you next week where we'll be finding out about some more incredible charities from some pretty awesome people. Until then, look out for each other and spread the love, people. Bye.